100% thought that this was a Nickelback song. <laughs> until I actually have a note here. Uh, stains sound today like, years old. Stains sound like Aldi brand Alice in Chains. <laughs> <laughs> Accurate. I like what um, Zab was saying about Nickelback. It's been a while since... <laughs> Since I like a pants around your feet. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while since I looked at this photograph. <laughs> <laughs> I think he actually does say that at some point. All right. Oh, we'll get there. We'll get there. Let's go. Let's do the first right. verse here. It's been a while since I could hold my head up high. It's been a while since I first saw you. It's been a while since I could stand on my own two feet again. And it's been a while since I could call you. Do you think it's been a while? Fuck, mm. apparently. <laughs> yeah. Do you reckon he's wearing one thing? of those um, like cone of shames that you get when you go to the vet? <laughs> nah, he's just quadriplegic now. So he can't <laughs> yeah. stand and he can't use his arms. And yeah. um, that's it. He's the a, end. Yeah, it's, it's been vegetable. a while. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, imagine it's been in Stephen Hawking's voice. It's been a while. Um, have you ever heard of dropped head syndrome? No, but please tell me all about it. <laughs> Don't. The legitimate thing, DHS. Yeah. Uh, disabling I condition caused. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a disabling condition caused by severe weakness of the neck. Uh, extensor muscles causing progressive. Reducible chiophis of the cervical spine and the inability to hold your head up. Weakness can occur in isolation or in association with a generalized neuromuscular disorder. Mm. Uh, so it's been a while since he could hold his head up high. You should probably get it checked out. Yeah. That, yeah. I've got that as a note <laughs> as well. Also, he may have encephalitis, which is just like a really massive head when you're born. And that, you know. oh, I think you're fucking on to something here because this guy looks like a fucking retarded hippopotamus. He really also, does. Hello, yeah. Naomi. Hello. Oh, hey, Naomi. How you going? I'm well, thank you. She's back. Thank- yeah, she's back. It's been a Thanks. while, but she's back. <laughs> it's been a while. Been a while. <laughs> First female on the podcast. Like, I know. Yeah. I'm glad. I, yep. Look, uh, I looked up our um, uh, demographic today <laughs> and apparently. Got to uh, branch out, do we? <laughs> no, no, we're we're like about forty eight percent female, but yeah. I think oh, they're, they're cool. not being repre- they're not being represented no. on the on the podcast, yeah. and I don't want to get cancelled, especially with all the racist no. unless we yeah. uh, all the racist things that Bevo says on yeah, here. Yeah. Yeah. Get yeah. some yeah. tits on here that fill with milk. Yeah. They won't put us ready. on Triple J unless we have the uh, feminine representation. Mm. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'm not entirely yeah. feminine, but um, my vagina Close and the uterus will will account for part of it at the very least. Have you know exactly. Female, but you've got a vag. Close yeah, enough. Yeah, yeah. I've got one. Yep. Yep. Um, but just yeah, and, and and that's the thing. Like, we also won't be played on Sony if we're not Jessica Mowboy with two mobile mobile phones. So we've got a you know the best possible <laughs> option is just the best a of the female. Best. Yep. Oh, um, drug drug deal and Mowboy. Yeah. 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 I'm yeah. sorry, but, I'm um, not more diverse. You know, if I was, uh, you like, can make you know, it up. Part Italian and also a little bit. Like some other place, I don't know where. But... I think you have to be Polish these days to be seen as well, really diverse. I'm Just partially... put on an accent. No, I'm no partially difference. Scandinavian, and I'm I I like Dan's poll. So I feel like <laughs> surely cool. tick tick yeah. tick. Yeah, we're ticking boxes, yeah. literally and figuratively. <laughs> uh, just back to the whole head syndrome. Um, mm. You know, droop head. We'll call it. <laughs> um, <laughs> Oh, yeah, I've seen this before. You've uh, got that's... Droop Head. <laughs> Do you think maybe it's, he's been a while but since he he first saw her is because you know because of his head problem. Can't look up. He can't look backwards. up. <laughs> he can't stand on his own on his own two feet again because yeah. for she whatever reason to it's kneel related in to his front head. Of him and look up. Yeah, and it's been a while since he could call you because he can't find the phone because he can't see it. I <laughs> oh, see. I thought he might be out of credit. Back in, back in two thousand two, okay. definitely that was yeah. definitely an issue. Fuck me uh, out of credit. I'm gonna sorry, mate. I'm gonna have to correct you. 2001. Oh, sorry. My mistake. Released. And that's Even gonna better. be a big point for me later. All right. So <laughs> we'll get there. He's all right? working up for that. We'll get there. He's working up to that. Like, right. what um, he says, um, the, okay. so he says, uh, since I could stand on my own two feet again, like, does he mean to say that for a while now he's been standing on other people's feet? It's getting the classic <laughs> yes. piggyback. Yeah, other people's yeah. own two feet. 
Yeah. Like he'd be a shit friend. Like if he I called you up and he's like, um, uh, oh, do you want to come over and hang out? You'd be like, you'd be pretty sus. He'd be like, I know why he wants me to go over. He just wants to stand on my feet because he wants to get something from the fridge. He wants a piggyback. You want to play <laughs> footsies <laughs> again? Fuck you, it's man. All... I'm sick of this. Hey, those. mate, I've just got a. I've just thought I'd call you at seven o'clock. Uh, I've got work in half an hour and I need to get there. <laughs> um, <laughs> can I just use your feet? Because as, you, as you know, it's been a while since I've been out of Santa Monica feet again, so <laughs> yeah. I'm going to need yours. Yeah. Yeah. How are those uh, feet treating you? Also, got... <laughs> don't wear your Havianas. If, yeah. you could, if you could wear like work boots or something, because I'm a Get heavy King guy. Get out. I'm yeah, I do work in a warehouse, so steel caps are preferred. Steel caps. Yeah. Um, yeah. Look, I'm ready. I've put the stilts away, and I'm ready to uh, get on the old uh, <laughs> shoelace express, as they say. <laughs> All right, this chorus. Oh, this I'm chorus. Stupid ass. <laughs> <laughs> shoelace express. That's fucking great. <laughs> and everything I can't remember, as fucked up as it all may seem. The consequences that are rendered, I've stretched myself beyond my means. Does it not sound like this dude has just been on a fucking bender in Vegas and lost mm. his family home on the craps table? That, really or funny... he's, he's a vagina. He's I've got a really funny genius anything. annotation for this one. Yeah. This is about Lewis's struggle to get rendering working correctly in Unreal Engine 4.x. <laughs> he has made a mistake, and the consequences are that the textures in his project are stretched far beyond what is visually appealing. <laughs> oh, no, I, God. Yeah. Okay. I like that. That's good enough for me. Too much. <laughs> oh, actually, from the first line, too, these lines are beyond Lewis's struggle to remember the numerous settings that are available in Unreal Engine 4.x and how this lack of remembering makes the entire framework seem confusing and overwhelming. <laughs> Very relatable. Very. Yeah. I, I feel I like the thought... last line might just be uh, a typo and that he's he's stretched himself beyond his memes and he's a meme lord. <laughs> <laughs> no, I reckon he's stretched himself beyond his genes and he can't yeah. fit in them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, I think it might be. I uh, stretch myself beyond my beans, and he's just he just like is bathing in some beans at the moment. Yeah. Or he's, he's from for the Star Wars. Record. He's from yeah. Star Wars, and he stretched himself beyond his beams. In which ah. case, uh, <laughs> terrible situation. Pew, you don't want that to happen. Pew. Not in the galaxy. Wait, how does Star Wars go again? <laughs> <laughs> the song, yeah. Beams. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Pew 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 terrible. pew pew pew. Beam me up. Yeah. <laughs> He's stretching uh, himself beyond his cleans. He's a cleaner, and he's stretching between clients. <laughs> <laughs> he's a seamstress, and he's yeah. stretched himself beyond his seams. It's just so <laughs> fucking stupid. It's terrible. It's uh, like he's, our he's, audience. He's friends yeah. with um celebrities, um mainly those that are in the show, Two and a Half Men, and he's stretched himself beyond his sheens. <laughs> 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 oh, Zab's broken. You broke Zab. <laughs> <laughs> All we can see in Zab's, like, um... <laughs> it's a giant teddy bear climbing over a mountain. <laughs> <laughs> For those right. of you that are not So Zab's gone. Zab's gone. <laughs> he can't. He can't do it. He's crying. Charlie Sheen gets him every time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you wouldn't believe it. I've stretched myself beyond my sheens. <laughs> this is like a guy that can't, out. He can't tell out. out. He can't tell if he wants to watch a Martin Sheen movie, a Charlie Sheen movie, or the best of Emilio Estevez. Or clean his bench with a Mr. Sheen. Yeah. <laughs> Cleaned his whole house with Mr. Sheen. He's on to the bloody Mr. bedside Sheen. table. He's running out. He's like, fuck! <laughs> Mr. Sheen's involved as well. Zav's polishing his fucking... Furniture and shit. Oh, Just huff and sheen. The second verse. Fucking brain cells. Anyway, yep, cool. Moving on. Uh, apparently, so it's, it's a continuation of how long it's been. Mm. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, a long yeah, time. Yeah. 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 Uh, it's been a while since I could say that I wasn't addicted. And it's been a while <laughs> since I could say I love myself as well. And. <laughs> It's been a while since I've gone and fucked things up just like I always do. And it's been a while, but all that shit seems to disappear when I'm with you. I want to talk about 
the third line in this gives it all away. It's been a while since I've gone and fucked things up, just like I always do. Well, you're fine then. Yeah, man, that's what I said. Yeah. That's a good thing. Yeah. Gradually. It's like Wrap it up. We're done. If you're addicted... But you should and... stop there. Stop at the third line mm. and move on with your life. <laughs> yeah, if you're addicted, say you're a mad heroin addict and you're like, I do heroin all the time. Uh, like every day, every night. Like for you to say it's been a while since I've done heroin, you'd be like, oh, well, that's, yeah, it's pretty good. Like, good that's on you. Right. Yeah, well done. It just seems like he's really getting his shit together here. Yeah. It just seems like he's a super fucking real big bummer to be around. Yeah, he's on, yeah. <laughs> like he can't even... He's got to make it sound or the positive things that he's doing. Like, you know, he's not fucking up as much. He's not addicted anymore. Yeah. He still makes it seem super depressing and negative. I'd be like, dude, you're on the up and up. Good, yeah, like, like, good yeah. on you. Man. Like, assuming, assuming he has is the point. He's like, it's been a while since I fucked things up. No, it has not been a while. Just yesterday, <laughs> you ordered Chinese <laughs> to the wrong address. <laughs> You're and a fuckwit. Yeah. You know you're whole, lying. His whole, his whole life comes crumbling down. Totally. Again. <laughs> just like they just, always do. He's yeah. not just ordered Chinese at the wrong address. The neighbors have called up and said, "Hey, did you order the did you order the satay chicken?" Or he was like, "No, he didn't. He didn't even fucking want the satay chicken. He meant to order the fucking black bean beef." <laughs> exactly. And he wasn't even ordering idiot. Chinese. He wanted Guzman. <laughs> wrong meal. Wrong what meal. Wrong with. place. What a fucking dickhead. Wrong address. Wrong fucking restaurant. You're a liar. You're a lying piece of shit. And you're gaslighting this bitch. That's yeah. my point. And she's possibly dead. Who knows? Well, that's <laughs> true. I mean, this guy's got dropped head syndrome. He can't fucking walk. He can't see her even. <laughs> yeah. The guy's staring at the ceiling. Like, unless his girlfriend is eight foot tall, the guy's not Maybe. seeing anybody. If she's if she's under eight foot, like, he's in love with the ceiling right now. Yeah, that's right. Is he singing yeah, this song about far. the ceiling? That's terrible. I love it's where been this a while. is going. I hope it's painted well. <laughs> That's yeah. all I'm saying. I hope it's got good uh, light fixtures. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna read the chorus again because it's the same thing. But the bridge Fucking is. <laughs> why must I feel this way? Just make this go away. Just one more peaceful day. <laughs> oh, fuck, mate. <laughs> Just have a fucking drink and a durry and relax. <laughs> Just fucking uh, relax, eh? If listening outside of Australia, durry is Australian for cigarette. Yes. Cigarette. Uh, <laughs> it's the worst word. To... Borderline rhyming this way with go away is oh, not a yeah, great brutal. rhyme. Yeah. 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 Feel this way, go away, peaceful day. Yeah, it's... Can I talk about the fact that I fucking hate the word a while? Like, I just wish yeah. I, was, that it I was saving that yeah. for the I end, I just wish actually. it wasn't one fucking yeah. word. It's like, grammatically I'm you, great. I'm with you, Ryan. It's like it's like mm-hmm. adjective versus mm-hmm. noun. And I don't want to go into it. I used to be an English teacher. A I while. Kind of, I don't separated. mind a yeah. while as a thing. Like, yeah. a it's while. like a lot. You know, it's been a while. Yeah, fucking mm-hmm. right. Late. But like, why... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, you know, one thing uh, people do a lot as well is the, the word apart. And they write it as A P A R T, which yeah. means the opposite of a part. Yeah, yeah. that's true. <laughs> yeah, it's been uh, apart. This band is called. This band is called <laughs> Stained. Mm. Stained with just a D. No yep. E. Don't no even. E. Yep. Move yeah. on. So, like when... so you know, let's. Mm. let's... It's because it... he's been addicted to Eckies, mate. Can you relax? <laughs> His body is a fortress of Eckies. I wanted stained, but I know the thing is, I've been addicted to Eckies. So, and I know this girl that I still love, maybe it's possibly a love. I don't know if I've burned her or not, but um, I want to make sure that the E disappears. So she knows just like, Hey, I'm not even on E's. I don't even use E's in sentences anymore. <laughs> when I write the word one, it just I've says one. I'm when a I good write work the word guy. Eek, in... It just says K. So E's in sentences. So sentences. <laughs> E's are gone. <laughs> They're not no even a vowel A's. to me now because I was so addicted to ecstasy. I'm sure He's that's what it is. Wise ecstasy. That's the fair. False yeah. She's a party girl with a bad habit. <laughs> bad habit for I'm can't sure talk about Chris Lilly anymore. Oh, wait. If yeah. we talk about Chris Lilly, are we going to get cancelled? Yes, yeah, we are. Now. Who the fuck All is right. that? I'm thin I, I don't know. know. We don't know who he is. <laughs> fuck, man. If we're not cancelled yet, then we're good. If we get yeah. Chris yeah. Lilly on the podcast, are we going to get cancelled? I hope so. I hope so. I was about to say, I hope so. All right, I'll um, tee it up. I'll tee it up. Verse three. <sighs> Fuck, it's still been a while. Uh, <laughs> it's been a, f- uh, been a fucking while. 
<laughs> An immeasurable uh, amount of time. Is the point. I know. When it's it's been it's oh. been a while since I could look at myself straight, and it's been a while since I said I'm sorry, and it's been a while since I've seen the way the candles light your face, and it's been a while, but I can still remember just the way you taste. Ugh. 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 There's yeah. something about Ugh. the whole yeah. when people mention how someone tastes Stop in a town. song mm. that is. Makes me uncomfortable. Yeah, it's like oh, have, don't have like you that. ever tasted somebody <laughs> and gone mm. chicken? I can remember that. <laughs> chicken. I remember that like, later. Like I've got grandparents taste- that I can't remember what they sound like. Right. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm going to be honest. I'm like, oh, I miss my nan so much. I wish I could remember her voice. Meh. Oh well, can't. But I tell you what, <laughs> if I remembered what that guy when I was in your eleven tasted like. That would be a problem for me. Yeah. I would be vomiting Disturbing. constantly. Yeah. Salmon right. spring roll. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's Three like, day old salmon spring roll. But I can Nuggies. still remember just the Nuggies. way you taste. And mm, I'm like, that's a very casual reference to cannibalism. Like, mm. yeah, it, it makes is, me yeah. sick. Don't eat people, dude. Just maybe it was that um redneck um hoedown. Yeah, I actually had a theory here. That stained <laughs> exists in the uh, redneck rednecks uni- cinematic universe. The redneck cinematic <laughs> universe because yeah. they were eating people and like yeah. he's referencing drowning eating and eating, yeah. drowning and eating. Like, do you, I yeah. mean, by this point, I don't know when this came out. The stained song, two thousand and one. When did the rednecks song come out? It was like ninety five. Do you think? Do you think the rednecks universe still exists? By that point, like oh, 100 percent, it goes it's infinity. It's, a it's universe. infinity. It goes forever. It's a universe. Okay. It goes for, yeah, ever expanding. So stain. Yeah. There's a link between stained and rednecks. The band. Well, we need to do some sort of mind map. <laughs> yeah, we'll get there. Look, yeah. at the end of the uh, day, if we can get Jeffrey Dahmer on here, I'm sure he will clear all, clear all of this up. A hundred percent. He hasn't been executed yet, right? I think he's still alive. Yeah, man. Oh, it's been yeah. a while since he's remembered the way someone oh. tastes. <laughs> yes, 100%. it has. I don't know. I reckon he probably jerks off to that taste every night. <laughs> um, <laughs> wow. The whole thing about the it's been a while uh, since I've seen the way the candles light your face mm. Mm. might be a reason. Uh, I'm going back to the fact that he lost everything in Vegas, but should have probably fucking paid the electricity bill. No, nah, I think mm. he's a pyro. He just likes having the fire everywhere. I think he's like, I want to burn this. Fucking we might bed. find out in the video why. Correct. Yes, yeah. we might. Mo- yes, we might. Yes, we may. Yep. <laughs> it's like uh, it's like that first time that you ever do something a little bit weird with somebody, and you're like, oh, I really like that. And then the, the next time they're like, oh, I don't, I don't really want to do that. But you're like, oh, I really do though. I, like I really <laughs> liked it. And they're like, no, but like thanks that. anyway. That kind of that hurt or whatever. <laughs> but you're like, nah, nah. But it didn't hurt me though. I feel like the the fire thing is a bit of a thing. It's like, you know. Anyway, this guy wants to watch the world burn. <laughs> he wants to, at the very least, he wants to just just put a finger in the candle. Like she's asleep. He just wants to like grab her hand and just see if she wakes yeah. up. I imagine he's the type of dude that stands over the top of people while they sleep. Or pours, <laughs> or pours hot wax on them. You know, they're like, that's yeah. a thing. People yeah. like that. They like pour the hot wax on. That's like a BDSM yeah. thing, whatever. Yeah. He's into they it. just wake up. He's just standing there What's naked BDSM? rubbing his nipples. Um, I yeah. don't know what the acronym is, um, but um, I know that it's, I probably got it wrong. No, that's right. Is it right? <laughs> no, it's yeah, uh, ask Be- I mean, ask Bevo. I mean, no, it's not right. Domination sadomasochism. I told you. Oh, I I thought thought it was, um, ask Bevo. Bevo's into it. I thought it was yeah. berries. And he drinks sugar-free bourbon and coke. You what's wouldn't the, believe it. What's yeah. the acronym for the, the country folk uh, that hang about together and they have, like, weird festivals that are, like, cowboys and cowgirls? Rednecks. Sorry, you've it's just it. said like twenty <laughs> different words that I'm trying. Yeah. I'm trying. So you've got C. Let's try F- again. Let's T- try again. I think it's D H S. The country, country folk syndrome. that do Danny Ute, Ute Master. D up D. Danny Ute Master. I think that's uh, it. Oh, it fucks mm. with the acronyms, doesn't it? The Ute Master. Uh, uh, let me just dumb. knock this out. I'll I knock bought, this outro out for you. I bought my t- Oh, I got. I just got a few others there. Um, where have we done the call you line? Is that? Is that happened? That was yet? way back in the first one. That was one. the first verse, you fucking. Been a while dickhead. since I could call you. 
Oh, yeah, it was the first verse. Yeah, uh, half he has no ago. fingers. Oh, I'm taking a journey back there uh, real quickly. Maybe, maybe no. No. his phone is the uh, phone that was featured in the video clip for Patience by Guns N' Roses. <laughs> <laughs> he's stuck in the same hotel room yeah he's like I, I, I wish i could call you but axel rose stomped the fuck out of my yeah. neon phone and it's been and a you while know it's really call. sad the saddest bit about that whole scenario he can't even call room service to get a new phone <laughs> i was gonna yeah. say Brutal. he can't even call reception Brutal. he'd have to do that he'd have to do that duff walk of shame all <laughs> yeah, the way yeah. to reception with he's, the slippers and rope provided he keeps finding people they keep disappearing yeah. <laughs> Excuse me, miss. Oh, fuck, where'd she go? <laughs> Excuse me, uh, miss. I saw you from across the... Wait, oh, no, you just... just... I didn't see you. <laughs> it's been a while since I could hold my head up high. Again, he's mentioned... Oh, you missed um, a bit, Chibs. Stop testing her. What? It all comes together in the last chorus, and everything I can't oh, remember, fuck. as fucked up as it all may seem to be, and I know it's me, I cannot blame this on my father... He did the best he could for me. I love Jesus this Jesus Christ, is this fucking, this is like therapy. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how I feel about Ryan just stealing fucking Chibs' section there. No, that's fine. Because yeah. I, I just saw Chorus. I'm like, I'm not reading another one. <laughs> to, to know. Yeah. But they've fucking got to mix it up for the uh, third Chorus. Plus, plus Beverage, say, like, though, um, Beverage read it in, and it actually sounded like normal. Good. Yeah. yeah. Like Chibs would have been like, and it has been. <laughs> <laughs> a while wow, since yeah. I couldn't hold my. Remember back you gotta in remember school. Remember, I only learned I only learned how to read four weeks ago. Remember back in school <laughs> when you'd have to do you'd have to do like a reading in front of the class, and every other kid would be like, "And everything I can't remember as fucked up as it all may seem to be." <laughs> yeah. And I'd what, put a bit of theatre into it. In? I was oh, I was in the worst ones. <laughs> But like I put a bit of theatre into it, and everything I cannot remember, <laughs> as fucked up as it all may seem to be, and the teacher would go, "Well Don't done, swear. thank you for making it a bit more dramatic." And yeah. then all the thank kids would not for call bring me top back will, will to live, just third what? lip, and make fun of Three me. Three minutes. And yeah, also, you're reading with fluency, bro. And also, That's don't swear, happened. don't swear, little Ryan. <laughs> Please don't fucking swear again, you can't. Uh, hey, top deck, don't swear. <laughs> uh, I cannot blame this on my father. He did not he did not dye his hair once. Not once. Bucky Beaver claps, by the way. Yeah, nice. Yeah, I, I've got nothing to say about that chorus. Nah. I didn't bother reading it to see no, that it was I definitely. Different. I just want to say respect did. for not blaming it on someone else. Like, you know, you can obviously trace it back to, you know, maybe the way his dad raised. was really nice to him. Maybe. We don't know. The sign of a true loser blames it on themselves. So he's a fucking loser. <laughs> 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 Take that, Aaron Lewis. <laughs> yeah, fucking loser. You're loser. Be mad when I tag him in all this shit. <laughs> yeah. All right. As long um, as you guys didn't call me a loser, that's fine. Yeah, we'll get oh, fucked. Guess what? Did. Knock, knock. Yeah. Who's there? We did. Hey, don't skip to 24 minutes and 39 seconds. Knock, knock. Who's there? Lou. Lou who? Zer. <laughs> um, so this was uh, written by Aaron Lewis, Mike Mashok, Johnny Apri, and John Wysocki, who are the band Stained, without the E. Mm. They were together from 1995 to 2004. They reformed in 2017, broke up, reformed in 2019, and have been together since. That's a shame. Wow. Aaron Lewis, uh, since 2010, has pursued an extremely successful country music career. Wow. What? Yeah, those yeah. people are pretty good. Right. since uh, grunge special. revivalism yeah. had its renaissance. Yeah. Yeah. He's like, it's so, been a while. I said, I'm sorry. I don't, 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 don't. Been a while. I could call you. Which you can kind of tell. I, so I have to admit that I bought this album, Break the Cycle, when it came out. This was deep in the new metal, um, like e e everything. Anything that came out that was like on Roadrunner Records or was even slightly like if you'd read a Kerrang magazine, they'd be like, if you like Limp Biscuit, you'll like this band. And you, I'd 
get on a train and go to um fucking Sydney to buy TV. Utopia? Yeah, Utopia, oh, yeah. And, or Red Eye. Loved it. And um I would get on the train, I'd go there and I remember going and buying Break the Cycle and I brought it home again because like you couldn't listen to it until you got the fucking two and a half train hour train journey home to listen to it oh, and I put man. it on that takes and I back. went I went oh this is shit <laughs> <laughs> they wasted like, my time and money it seemed to me like they were a um, country band or like an acoustic based band that had been completely tried to be pushed like the square peg, you know, mm. through what's in right to, now. How can to we to be to be a new metal band, mm. and it did nothing about it seem legit. Can I read you a little thing? Uh, just so I have a very vivid memory of around two thousand and three, and they did this thing called MTV Icon, and Metallica was the the focus yes. of the MTV Icon mm-hmm. in two thousand three. And here's the list of bands that did covers of Metallica songs: Some Forty One. Avril Lavigne, Snoop Dogg, Corn, Limp Biscuit, and Stained. I'd love to hear the Snoop Dogg one. Snoop Dogg did Sad But True. Wow. And that wow. was very much of that year. They were the, like the yeah. big names of new metal and pop. Yeah. And, you know. I saw some 41 at the Roundhouse in Sydney when um, Does This Look Infected came out. Mm. And they did a, med- a Metallica medley. That's the one they did on yeah. the MTV Icon. And it was fucking better than seeing Metallica. Yeah, because they are like really, really good musicians. <laughs> so fucking good. They're good musicians. Have you seen, have you seen um, lately the Sum 41 footage of them playing um, a Linkin Park song yeah. with Mike Shinoda? Yes. I saw Sum 41 live like... last year, actually, at the um, Download Festival in Sydney. Oh, yeah, yeah. And they came on stage and said, we're sorry, we're sorry for everything that's happened before. And they were very apologetic. <laughs> that's all I caught from that. I I'm not a fan, so I don't know what they did wrong, but he was very apologetic when he came on stage. But um, he could 100% just go and fuck it. They should just get him to go be the singer of Linkin Park. Yeah, he nailed that shit. And and um, one of the members from Sum 41 made that happen. Where it was just like, hey, um, like Derek, yeah, Derek could he, do this. He was there doing his solo shit, Shinoda. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And they got to come out and do it. But I'm like, fuck, man, like just... It's the exact Thanks, same, bro, like, like he's got the same range, and like yeah. to have Derek do it is just so awesome. Yeah, and like all the Lincoln Park fans were so stoked about it. Yeah, it was sick. Uh, anyway, so that was my story with Stained, where I actually went and bought the album. I put in a solid, you know, six hours of work, traveling, mm. paying for train tickets, all this to get no it. No discman, by the way. No discman. How just, dare you? Got, you? Had to wait to get home. Well, my brother had a discman, but you know, wouldn't let you lend it. (laughs) You're like, hey, hey, can I borrow your discman? He's like, "Uh, this is Mad Dog's discman. Yeah, uh, (laughs) get out of my room. If I gave you this discman, then what would Mad Dog have? That was half the fun, though. He would have done it. Yeah, it's so nice. Yeah, but yeah, I do. I've been bitterly disappointed getting it home and going. Well, so uh, I haven't heard the album. So the album's not good. It's really heavy. But they don't seem like a heavy band. Oh, so like you expected more of this, like what this no, what this oh, vibe was. I didn't even really know this song. Like this was sort of before this had been out as a single. I yep. just read about them being like, if you like them, you should get this. Mm. And I hadn't heard anything. Like I was going on nothing. Mm. And just the whole vibe I got from it is like the album is heavy as shit. Like, but they, but it seems like bullshit. Like they don't seem like a heavy band. And then you hear this song. The whole thing's fucking acoustic guitar, and it's just out of tune, bad fucking Gross. distorted guitars trying to make it seem like it's a heavy song, mm. but yeah. it's not really. Yeah, yeah. Um, so they got discovered. Did anyone say this? How Stain got discovered? No, no. So Aaron Lewis, um, he met the DJ from Limp Biscuit earlier DJ in the. Yeah, earlier they were they were stains were booked to support Lip Biscuit, right? He met the DJ earlier in the day, and was like, "Oh, can you like give my copy of the hour CD to Fred Durst?" And um, Fred was offended by the cover art of the CD, apparently, which is what caused him to actually 
like pay any attention to it because it had like this real satanic shit on it. Um, and then Lewis said that Durst actually tried to get Stained kicked off the show. Oh. Based on the fact that he didn't like the cover art of the demo. So when Stained went on, they, they didn't kick him off. He tried to get him kicked off. They're like, no, fuck. Like the show's in an hour. Like they're playing. Yeah. So he stood on the side of stage waiting to be able to like fucking have a go at him as they came off. When they came oh. off, he threw his arm around him and was like, I'm going to make you, I'm going to get you a record deal. And the rest what? is history. That is crazy. Yeah. So I'm looking at the right album cover too. It's just, it's a picture of a cross with blood on it. Yeah. So what, like Fred Durst was out, outly like against something that he thought may have been like satanic or something. Yeah. He just didn't like the cover work. So he's like, I'm getting this band kicked off the wow. show. And then wow. stood at the side of the stage so he could fucking rip into him. And after watching them play, we're like, I'm getting you a record deal. That's crazy. And did. Wow. Yeah. I would have thought that. You know Fred that just... new sound you've been looking for? Listen. It's called acoustic new metal. metal. <laughs> I would have thought that Fred Durst maybe could have gotten them kicked off no matter it's what. Your cousin, Marvin Durst. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Marvin Durst. Um, like, yeah. I feel like Fred, what Fred Durst wants, Fred Durst gets at that point. I also um, think, though, that. The promoters like yeah, too much, too many people paying. I am paying you. Yeah. Shut up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Put your backwards hat on. Like they're the fucking first support act. Like yeah. just ease up. Go back to your goddamn green room and relax. Yeah. But you know he's obviously methed out of his mind. He just yeah. whatever. But and right. Michael Mashok, who is the guitarist, also plays in um a super group called Saint Asonia, and was also in Newstead. Which was Jason Newstead's yeah. band, um, yeah, when he left Metallica. After Metallica, but yeah. a, a Sonya is a supergroup with members. This is I didn't look them up, but tell me this doesn't sound like the worst fucking supergroup you have ever heard of in your entire <laughs> life. It there are people from Three Days Grace, Finger Eleven, Dark New Day, Seetha. And Art of Dying. <laughs> well, I actually this like, like that first. These are all bands that we could do on this podcast. <laughs> I, I love that first Three Days Grace album, but I hate everything from everyone else that you just said. Yeah, I mean, so I don't know if that's a super group. They call that's it. Not a, it's, it's people from things that were other things. Yeah, That's not a super group. That's a group. So actually, I'm just reading this now. So it was produced by Josh Abrams. And I think that was one of the big reasons why I went and bought the album as well. Because he was one of the dudes that if he produced it, it was fucking sick. So he did all the Limp Biscuit stuff. He did Corn, um, Unwritten Law, Linkin Park, Static X, Velvet Revolver, Slayer. He did the Crazy Town album. He did, um, he's done fucking Weezer albums. Like, so I'm curious, how, do, how yeah. were you finding out? Who the producer oh, the, was? The, the, the in... credits, not the credits on the back of CDs. All right, so you would just read it and go like, I just read the books of CDs. Yeah, right. and Find the credits and find who engineered it, who produced it, and then I'd go. Yeah. And when I'd go to CD stores, I'd pull the books open and <laughs> look at the producers and the engineer. Like it was that into it. Wow. That's who produced crazy. it? Who engineered it? And then that's I would just buy it based on that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, and, give me everything you got on Abrams. Yeah, yeah, seriously. <laughs> like it was like that, um, like the um, high fidelity style, like record store. Yeah, like, just nerd. Yeah, yeah <laughs> that's yeah. cool, man. Like, so, you know, Chips, have you applied? I know you're with Ness, but have you applied for Love on the Spectrum? I want songs that make you want yeah. to die. Yeah. Yeah. And I also like the sound of dogs eating kibble. <laughs> <laughs> I, like I like snare drums a lot. I know all about snare drums. 1945. This like yeah. it doesn't matter. Oh but, look, I, I couldn't give a flying fuck now. But you're talking about like 13 year old me that's <laughs> got nothing else to do. But shit. You're like, I, yeah. I like dogs eating kibble and Josh Abrams. That must be Josh <laughs> Abrams. <laughs> Josh Abrams produced yeah. records. Yeah. If someone yeah, introduced yeah, yeah. you to gymnastics, you would be into that too. I, I've just got into that. Yeah. Just got into oh, that. Oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm doing that ribbon style shit. 
yeah. Rhythmic um, dancing? What a time. Yeah, 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 yeah that's it, yeah. Oh, uh, what, how, what beauty. Interpretive, interpretive and rhythmic. And it's, you know yeah. what? It's not at all diverse. How dare they? No, they the can't tell me no. girls can do that. <laughs> they can't tell me no. How dare they? You should get into it now in your, in your 30s. That would embarrass them, wouldn't it? <laughs> it would. You <laughs> yeah. would show them. What about uh, diversity? It's just me. Are the guitars completely out of tune? <laughs> yep. Like, should acoustic guitars be in C, like, drop C? <laughs> <laughs> and up, and up for it? Because the whole thing seems out of tune. Once you get past drop D, I reckon, you're in bass territory. Just mm, get a yeah. bass. Just buy a bass. Especially for recording. Yeah, the rec- fuck, like, yeah. The actually recording it, it's not going to sound good. Yeah. Um, It's like super muddy as well. Like when the distorted guitars come in, there's just no clarity to it at all. And fuck, the entire song just drags the fuck on it's five minutes man. can i read you my favorite fact about this song my absolute favorite fact about this song i don't know if you guys will relate to this but i definitely will the song was featured as a playable track on the nintendo gamecube video game donkey konga 2 so donkey konga Konga. donkey konga was a um imagine guitar hero but instead of a guitar was the aldi version of donkey kong (laughs) instead of a guitar Peripheral, you had a set of bongos that you played oh, on. Oh, no. I actually had no. Conga 1, but not 2, so I missed out on Wait, how did you while. play Congas to this? <laughs> but you'd be so bored. <laughs> That's the point. It's designed for people that can't do anything. This is oh, like, wow. doom, 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 yeah. doom, doom. It's been a while. Doom. Yeah. Doom. Doom. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck yeah horrible um yeah, no, has cool. anyone got anything else to say about the fuck production no. please let's move on to the video yeah, yeah, about the production but like i was pretty interested like i didn't know i've heard this song a billion times but like is is it about someone that's died do you think yeah i've got that uh, yeah his dead. um yeah his ability to get an erection yeah I was pretty surprised at that. Like that whole thing that made the lyrics make like I was like, oh, that's pretty deep. But I never picked that up before. Before I went, I went into English teacher mode while I was watching it. When he goes into the bathroom and like he splashes his face with water. Like if this was like a year twelve HSC essay, I'd be like, oh oh my gosh, that's like representative of like cleansing yourself. That's like holy water. (laughs) Like we would, we would run with that. That's like a fucking so, ninety-eight the, essay, hundred percent. You would go like, if you saw some purple curtains, you'd be like, so the 100%. purple curtains, and it's like, nope, they're just fucking purple curtains. I would definitely yeah. be like, as as is a result of royalty. Like you got to find <laughs> the thing. But when get I watched, me the cheapest curtains you can possibly find for this video. <laughs> that's right, and the per, the <laughs> curtains are pink. I'm like, oh, the guy's got some weird love t- situation going in here. Curtains are black. Guy wants to die. Um, but actually, it was just that, like, they didn't have the budget for the right curtains. There's no budget. There's there. Bevo. The Bevo. Yes. We, we stole the curtains from our mum's house. <laughs> um, but definitely, the bathroom scene, he's like, why does he go? Like, the whole entire video is like, Kim, it goes between him and I think and his he, needs to take, he needs to take a shit early on, and then he thinks about it the entire time. But let's, kick, let's kick the totally. video off. Let's, oh, let's kick yeah, it off. Let's go there. Be- yeah, let's go there. Bevo, Bevo. Tell me about the video, All mate. Right. Hit it. Here's the video facts from A to Z. And they're coming at you straight from Ryan B. It's a terrible song and I know you agree. It's music video summary. With Bevo. Now. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right, here we go. Stained, it's been a while. Mr. Stained irresponsibly lights a cigarette inside whilst flipping through a box of photos that inspire him to write the song. Apparently, it's been a while since they paid the electricity bill because they then performed the song by candlelight. At the end of the video, Mr. Stain drops his cigarette and starts a fire. Hopefully, this is the last we see the likes of him. Mr. Stain! <laughs> Mr. Stain, have a wash. That's so much better than his name. Yeah, why don't we, like, I wish you could have been calling him that the whole time. I just love the I, idea of every band is named after the person that sings the song. <laughs> it's like, so, so good. Mr. So Rage Against the Machine. What? <laughs> Mr. <I think laughs> Mr. Mr. Machine. Yeah. That's it, the end. You should add that. So also tonight we've done uh, 
Mm-mm-mm-mm, by the crash test dummies. Mr. the dummies. It would, oh, okay. I was going to say. Wait, are you Mr. saying that we do two episodes in, a night? I'm not. Bloody you are. How about we just follow up on what we do, hey? I, don't, I didn't say I anything. thought we did everything no. live, like you asked that one time. Shut this up. Not <laughs> Leave me alone. Inkblot. Leave behind the curtain. Inkblot. Nobody sees the wizard. Not hey, no way. Not no how. Not no way. Shut up, spots. <laughs> Shut up, spots. Why don't you fuck off, Mary, many spot Mary? <laughs> <laughs> many mark Mary. <laughs> what a um, Ah, you fucking top deck. <laughs> oh, yeah, we just did that episode, by the way. That was the last episode. Paintball okay. Penelope. <laughs> um, this was directed by Limp Biscuit frontman Fred Durst. Wow, really? Um, Look, I've got to be honest. It makes me limp, and I don't have a penis. Yeah, well, apparently Limp Biscuit <laughs> stayed a current, a currently beefing. Currently, really? Yeah, currently, like now, uh, like like anyone gives a fuck like, that stained and limp biscuit aren't getting along in twenty twenty. Who the are fuck? They... Who the fuck? No, I will say, oh. I will say that I saw Limp Biscuit at Download probably two years ago, and it was fucking awesome, yeah. right? Yeah, of course it was. Like, but it's not like it was. Oh, it's fuck, been a while. No, but it was. It's not like it was fucking relevant. Like, it's not relevant. No, it was, it's a nostalgia item. Yeah, it was totally. awesome, but it's not relevant. Yeah. Um, I do enjoy the fact that he starts punching darts straight up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no no music started. It's just going to inhale this entire thing in one fucking go. If you're and listening, he keeps featuring. Yep. Yeah, he goes through a few. Chain smokes all the way through. I'm uh, doing our regular uh, Australian update here. Like, if you're listening right now, you're outside of Australia. Dart is... <laughs> Australian for cigarette, by the way, as is Dari. So just to, just to help you keep up. Dart, and Dari. And yeah, if you are listening, if you are listening in the United States of America or France, where we also seem to be rather popular, I highly recommend using the term punching darts. Yeah. <laughs> or if you're uh, requesting a cigarette of a fellow friend, you say, Chuck is a dozzy, you cunt. <laughs> but can I bung a durry? Yeah. <laughs> can we now do that? Uh, can we do it? Uh, Bang us a dart. Can we do it? Yeah. <laughs> impersonations of French people saying, <laughs> bung a durry. <laughs> can I bung a durry? <laughs> oh, bonjour, <laughs> mademoiselle. May I bung a durry? See if play. <laughs> Hi. Can I bung a durry? Je voudrais un bung a durry. <laughs> I got two things to say about this music video. Yeah, go on. Um, first, the first thing is that uh, the candlelight doesn't look like that on camera. They definitely nah, have nah, more nah. lights going on than the yeah. candles. The 100%. second thing is I'm joking. Like, like I know it's a hard thing to do to like pretend to play drums on a video when there's playback going, but don't have your rubber pads on your drum kit. <laughs> this guy Why is there rubber I pads? A... I didn't even notice that, dude That's crazy Yeah, I th- honestly, I did think it was black skins But no, they're not black uh, skins It looks like black skins pads. I didn't even notice nah, not, no, no. Um, That's rubber pads I made a note about this drummer That I said, this guy He's been to Clark Rubber He is one, he is one, of, he's one of those drummers One of those fuckwit drummers That likes to talk about nothing but drums <laughs> That's how we met, Chibs. Cute, cute, Dan. Yeah. Yeah, have you guys have you guys seen the size of my Tom two? It's a uh, yeah. sixteen by eight. Oh, yeah, my snare, you know, my snare. We all know oh someone. God, we all know so someone. Clear. That's one of those drummers yeah. that's just like it's a birch and maple. They don't. Pie. They don't have any other conversation point. Let me bring but drums. everyone up to speed, like super quick. Like if you're a drummer and you want to practice, you can't do it regularly in your own household with acoustic drums. So you get these like. Uh, like they're called drum mutes and they fit over the skin of your drum and they're like wetsuit material. And if you hit it, your drum makes a lot less sound. That's in the film clip. I've just noticed no, no, no. that. <laughs> it's not a lot less sound. It literally sounds like you're hitting a piece of wetsuit material. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, I just, yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I didn't notice it. A, a drum kit. Yeah. Why would they put that in the film clip? That's crazy. Maybe they had to record it like it's in a super, it's like, in an apartment building. <laughs> I actually, I actually know <laughs> neighbors all around them. I know a band that did a film clip, and they were they booked the top of a restaurant, and they were like, "We're gonna do our film clip tonight." And they started, and the dude was like, "That is so fucking loud! I've got a restaurant down here. 
And then we're like, well, we booked this out. And he's like, well, you're going to have to sort this out. And so what they had to do was um, turn down the sound of like, because when you do a film clip, you've got the PA like yeah. playing the song. So they turned that down. And the drummer of the band had to mime the drums. Oh, so he, he like, and, and if you watch it, it's trick photography. Like he is miming that shit entirely. Like he's not playing a thing. And Who is it? It's tonight alive, <laughs> but is it really tonight alive? It's it's yeah. yeah. What You're song? Uh, I'll find the song, but uh, it's definitely a thing. Like they got up there, they did this whole thing, and they were just like, "Man, we can't do our film clip," and so he had to pretend to hit the stuff. There's nothing worse than having oh. to pretend to hit the drums too. Yeah, because yeah, you'd, you'd know that's him a DD. That's a DD. That's a DD. Oh, that must have that's fucking sucked. <laughs> that's a mad DD oh, destroyer. Yeah. I would have just chucked it in. I would have gone fully like that's a double D patient yeah. style. Let's get a jingle Guns for the double D's. Oh, oh I'm, no not, I'm just not being. I'm just not dignity destroyer. Because you, you can mime the rest of it. You can mime guitar. You can mime singing, but you can't yeah, really yeah. mime drums. Um, uh, I'm I pretty sure we can do. Uh, so, I made a note about this <laughs> clip that he's angrily throwing the photos um, from that large photo chest that he keeps on his fucking cupboard. And he's just pegging the photos down like he's furious, like just fucking bang, just throwing them on the ground. Mm. It's like, dude, you're there by yourself. Like, no one made you look at the photos. Yeah. Just, just don't look don't, at them. How about you just leave them? <laughs> like, again, back to the thing. Just punch your dart and relax, bro. <laughs> hey, also, <laughs> your girlfriend's a brunette. And the biggest feature in the entire house is Marilyn Monroe, like the most peroxide blonde <laughs> that ever existed. And and you've got your little brunette in a box, but like you've got this massive, gigantic portrait of this incredible peroxide blonde, like for a period of time that doesn't even exist anymore. And um, and you're wondering why she she's a little bit like not here. Well, replace your fucking Marilyn Monroe picture. The chick is dead. <laughs> Stop putting your love lives like the the photos of your love life in a box. Maybe pop it up in a frame. <laughs> Chuck it in a frame. Like, like she's make coming it, in every day. Good. She's like, hey, here's the thing. Like, you're into that blonde lady. I don't know what her name is because I'm not very smart. But um, Marilyn Munn who? Thing. Marilyn Munn whore. Oh. She yeah. might say. No, she might because she's upset about it. Not because like, she's No, no, you are. It. I do have a photo of you. You're like the 10th photo He's in like, my photo <laughs> chest. He's like, check out my box. And she's like, check out my box. What about that? <laughs> Yeah, he doesn't okay. care. I've got a get, <laughs> does anyone get vibes of that Simpsons episode where Homer's got the cigar lit and he yeah. sleeps with it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's them. when it's when he do- refuses to go to church. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 exactly yeah. that. Except, yeah. so what's happened here in this video, you might not catch it if you get the annotations over the top of the video, but his cigarette falls out of the ashtray and starts burning his photo. So he didn't even want him to burn. That's no. just an accident. Except Whoops. that someone's... Put um lighter fluid all over the floor. <laughs> Somehow, yeah, yeah they've cool. um they've doused his house in fucking petrol yeah. beforehand. <laughs> yeah. I think that's called Homer the Heretic. That he's right. Been... Okay. Yeah. Hey, he hasn't even fallen asleep. He's just watching it happen and going, oh, oh shit, oh shit. Oh, Getting shit. fucking hot in here. Oh, he's having a fucking grand old time watching his yeah. house burn <laughs> Um, was anyone else infuriated? <laughs> By the location of his eyebrow ring. Mm. Oh, mate. Brutal. I'm with you. Okay. Don't no, even. I'm not sure. Don't it seems, even. It seems like it's hanging off foreskin of his yeah. eyebrow. Like, yeah. Get in deep or don't do it at all. I could put it's it almost, in there, you it's fucking almost dog. like <laughs> eyelid more than it is yeah. eyebrow. Yeah. I'm trying to find That's it going now. To, I'm, like, I'm going that through, is through the It is through like... Fucking less than a mil- yeah. less than a millimeter of skin. He is like, one Seven Eleven w- Slurpee fight away yes. from getting that. You shit could go up. Out. You could just go up and reef that, and he wouldn't even know. He'd be like, he wouldn't hey, even know. don't pinch me. You're like, I didn't pinch you. I ripped out your eyebrow ring. Yeah, <laughs> he would have no idea. No, nah, you would be like, you sneezed, bitch. And it's like, <laughs> so I think you ripped it. You're like, no, nah, no, nah, you definitely sneezed. Fuck yeah. you. Little little known fact. I'm gonna go back to my. Th- 13 year old self that was catching trains to Sydney to buy stained albums had two eyebrow rings. Um, one on each, or two you on the same? no, no, two, two, they were bars next to each other. Oh, good on you. And um, woke up one morning to find that uh, 
they'd become infected Ugh. and that the bottom ball bell of both bars were now inside my head. Oh. Owie. I did that with nose rings, nah. by the way. <laughs> Terrible. I had to reef them at the top yeah. and now have two holes, two, two, two scars <laughs> at the top uh, and uh, don't have, never had them ever again. <laughs> I woke up, it looked like an egg on my fucking mm. eyebrow. And I'm like, where the fuck are the bottom baubles? <laughs> oh, no. What has Stain! happened? Stain! Stain! <laughs> Sorry, I need to put a massive I need to put a massive fucking pause on this whole podcast. I know you yeah. can edit this out, but Dan, I need you to just move back a bit for a sec. Just move back. Okay. Please just move back a bit. What do you mean? From your seat. And Chibs, do not move at all. Chibs, don't move your fucking head. Dan, move back a bit and move your head up. Move your head up. Who? You, Dan. Hey. Yep, stand up a bit more. More, like more, more. Like I, stand up. I don't know what to Actually, say. Actually, get the fuck out of your seat, Dan. Uh, down a bit. Down, down, down. Down, What's happening? Down. My thighs, down. my thighs hurt. Oh. My thighs hurt. <laughs> oh, up a bit. And Chibs, move your head down a bit. Why though? And Dan, Dan, um... down a bit. Dan, down a bit. Why? Uh, uh, don't move. <laughs> to the your left a bit. Your left. Who? Oh, fucking hell. I know Dan, you're just going to take Dan, a photo where it looks like he's, Dan, his head left. on your body. Dan, your left. <laughs> I need to, I need to <laughs> down a bit, so down a bit, down a bit. My thighs hurt. <laughs> down a bit, down a bit, down, down. Deeper. Uh, up a bit. I'm done. My thighs hurt. Get loose. Don't be as lazy. <sighs> uh, I didn't get it. <laughs> oh, Sav. All right, sorry. Continue. Sorry. I'm talking about eyebrow piercings. What was that? Yeah, I don't remember. <laughs> All right, I'm going to skip to fucking, here we go. It's been a while. All right. What about in, uh, when he's at his sink, it's at 345 mm. and he's like, Gross. he's, he's, he's just put the water in his face. He's looking in the mirror and then the camera pans to like the mirror's view and he just does this thing where he's, with his eyes and he mm. just, he kind of looks like he's just asked this girl in like year seven that he's just told this girl that he likes her and she's like, oh, I don't know if I feel the same way. And he's kind of like, oh, well, I'm sorry for asking. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the most weak, disgusting, like, look on his face I've ever seen. It's so I hate fucking it. lame. Compare oh, a contrast to, like, Guns N' Roses to Stained. You think about, like, it's not Slash. too far off, is it? No, well, no, it is. Because Slash has long curly hair and he wears a top hat and jewelry and... Um, leather jackets and everything. And then these guys look like they could have just walked in. If anyone in Stained was replaced with someone else, I would not know the difference. No. Yeah. Especially no. the singer. Oh, yeah, it's as generic as generic can get. Also, like at the end of the day, like the entire clip it focuses on the fact that like he's still wearing his wedding ring in all of the past clips of him and his girlfriend. She's got her wedding ring and engagement ring on. But like he never lets that shit go. Like he's got some... <laughs> Serial killer vibes here. Whatever's yeah, happened, he's like, oh, I don't care. Can't. He gets home from work every day and opens his photo chest and just <laughs> yeah, punches I mean, darts and drinks and fucking jerks off the it. old photos. Why have you got photos yeah. in a chest? Like, I mean, weird. obviously now, uh, maybe if you're a bit of a weirdo, you're like, you're like holding onto photos from your past in your iCloud. Yeah. Um, maybe it's a bit different, but like. Like, if now you had photos, like, printed in a chest, <laughs> oh, my God, call the fucking cops. Like, if I came across that in our house, I'd be like, all right, Dan's got some weird shit going on here. Like, has he got photos <laughs> in a chest? Like, he's got he's got iCloud, but he's, like, he's like deleted all his shit and he's got photos in a chest? Fuck yeah, that. Yeah, it's weird. Do you think an old dude this fucking ugly could cut it in a popular band these days? Well, I'm hoping yeah, so. Totally. I'm yeah, hoping so. Totally. Like, I don't know. If, like, <laughs> I'm banking on it. I'm banking on the fact that that can happen still because, like, I still want to make it. You just need thicker eyebrows. Unless, yeah. Get that eyebrow ring. Yeah. Okay. Hanging off your Rings. bloody eye, eye foreskin. <laughs> yeah. Has anyone found okay. a YouTube also, comment that I... isn't about drug addiction? I was going to say, what's oh, it go with don't, that? Don't. Hang on. That? Do not do not go to the comment section until we're we, ready to go there because okay. I'm about we, to blow the fuck let's, up. Let's go. Let's go to comments. Oh. Zav. I'm going to end this podcast with my fucking thing. <laughs> end this whole so, career. Whatever you guys have to say, 
unless someone has my comment in which I'm going to say, do not fucking make that comment. Well, I, no, no, go. I go, got, you go. I got two quick ones. Shut yeah. up, Dan. Oh, okay. No, no, Dan goes first. Dan goes first. Uh, I feel like I'll go second then. What All if right. he says your comment? Well, I'll he say won't. don't. I don't think I will. Mine are not good. Uh, this says, uh, this is from Israel Lopez. This song came out in my freshman year in high school. Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> cool man. That is let, crazy. Let me tell you, Israel. It's not that, that cra- crazy. It's not crazy. It's easy to understand. Like it just came out that year, same year. Yeah. Um, <laughs> not a tough, not a tough concept. Not really that crazy. Sorry, Israel. Uh, and then the second one. <clears throat> this is from uh, Sash Croft, and it says, "It's so addictive. I had to download a, a split screen." What? What? Mm. Sash Croft. Unsash yourself. It's not that addictive. Sorry. Can I hit you with mine, please? Yep. Yeah. It's incredible that you can hit bongos to a song about drug addiction and failing relationships. <laughs> <laughs> That's from the Donkey Kong play. Very, <laughs> very good. Very good. Um, I only had comments about drug addiction, and I don't want to step on anything that I was going to say. So um, Mine's not about drug addiction, so go for oh, it. Oh, good. Okay. So I had the fact that... Uh, I was like, "What? What is it about this song and people being addicted to drugs?" Like, yeah. I couldn't, I couldn't actually piece the two together. Um, but then you've got all these comments that are like, "Dedicated this song to myself the day I got freed from doing six years in prison." Yeah, hectic, hectic. And it's been a while good. since I've seen haven't the outside done world. oxy, haven't done oxy in fifteen years. Only with this, only with his grace, I'm alive. I've I've overdosed more times than I can count on one hand. Thank you, Jesus, for your mercy. And this oh, is the song, Jesus, like right. this is the song they go to for like, and they're this in that place. Mm. Mm. I am thirty five years old, and I am eighteen years meth. I am an eighteen years meth addict. I am four years sober now with no relapse, and happy to say that my body don't crave it anymore. That's another comment. On, yeah. One more. Ah. Been clean off heroin and crack since July nineteenth. 2008 and still going strong. I think you'll find that, that comment actually says being clean off of Herion <laughs> and crack. <laughs> <laughs> Chips is like, yeah, 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 I cleaned it up. You were right. high when you wrote yeah, that. I did, I did. <laughs> um, I, uh, but I still can't get what the like the correlation between no, those comments and this song. I feel are. the same, man. Like I saw a lot of those. I actually had one more I quickly read out. Everyone's either listening in 2020 or sober from drugs. But I just want to know who the shorty in the video is. <laughs> but, yeah, well, I've, she's like I've, a melody in my head. But like, I, it, I didn't get the drugs like correlation. I don't know. Nah, there's no, there's no drugs correlation. And if I'm completely honest, like I personally was like, like I don't want to search through a thousand fucking YouTube comments in five seconds. But I was like, like personally, if I was going to comment, I feel like my first thing I'd say is. I think she might have broken up with you because you've got a tribal tattoo and you're not a part of a tribe. It's 2001, <laughs> so, though. Give like, him a there's break. the first thing. Yeah, maybe. No, nah, still not but if okay. she's clued on, nah. and on top of that, she he's got some apparent t shirt cutting skills, also early 2000s vibe. She has to wear this cut up t shirt. She's like, I'm not like. You've got a tribal tattoo and you're making me wear the t-shirt that you cut up. And it's not even, it's not even a good e-commerce vibe. Like I'm not even. She probably, this, she like... probably escaped at the night. Like yeah. she's never seen her since. Yeah. Totally. And... All right, Zav, Zav, Zav. Hit All me right. with your bloody, hit me with it. Hit me with your. I, I just want to quickly say real quick disclaimer. I don't really put much effort into this podcast before we actually go to air. Yeah, it shows. No, Keep going. Yeah. yeah. Yep. I think this is the most fucking effort I've ever done for this podcast. And you better <laughs> well, fucking aren't, appreciate aren't it. Aren't you like a doctor or a surgeon or something? I mean, that's that's yep, reasonable. That's exactly what I am. I that's do have a doctor. That's not um, a lie. Hashtag Tinder. Um, Hit him up. <laughs> <laughs> doctor of love. All right. So I have a comment. It's from Rock Balancer. And he says, this song takes me back, man, to a simpler time. When this song was on the radio, things were going better than they are now. All right, that comment was made two months ago. Good, he's still listening to the radio. He so. reckons that things were better back then. <laughs> I'm going to fucking prove this fucking stupid cunt wrong. <laughs> Are you fucking yeah. ready for this? Yeah. 2001 is when this song was released. 
let me just give you a few examples of things that weren't invented in 2001. <laughs> okay. In 2001, we didn't have the sumo vegetable slicer. <laughs> <laughs> we did not have the automatic dog ball shooter. <laughs> oh, brutal. We didn't have Bluetooth speakers that light up yeah. to the beat of the song. Fair. We didn't have shampoo with conditioner built right in. Gross. We didn't have artificial livers. We didn't have robot vacuums. We didn't even the second have second Lord of the Rings movie. We didn't even have fucking breath strips. No. They didn't Ew. exist. <clears throat> but what really fucking pisses me off, right? He's talking I'm sure he's talking about fucking coronavirus or whatever the fuck he's talking about. This song stayed at number one on the charts in two thousand and one in the USA for thirty weeks. Number one, thirty weeks in the USA. It's From its release date on Tuesday, March 20th, 2001, 30 weeks from that date would make it Tuesday, the 16th of October, 2001, <laughs> which means if my math is correct, Choices. this song was playing on the radio when the biggest terrorist bombing at the time in the history of <laughs> mankind happened. Riddle. It literally played on the radios that were playing in the World Trade Centers when the fucking plane yeah. smashed itself into the building on Tuesday, September 11th. Nine fucking eleven. Yeah, they're like. The world it's been was... a while since we got involved in some like like cultural terrorism, but Bush yeah. is our like thing. So whatever. It's been a while. The world was not going country. through a fucking simpler time. Mm, brutal. The world was not going through a simpler time. Definitely not. And that's where I fucking finish that. All right. Oh well. Wow. Right. Wow. Very nice. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank so what was that guy's yeah. name? What was that guy's name? Let the comment. Rock balancer. Oh, let's leave a comment. Let's leave a comment on rock. Get Bevo to leave a comment on Rock Balancer's <laughs> fucking account. Oh, Tell him he's a fucking idiot. It should be that exact rant you just did as a comment. Yeah, yeah. fucking moron. Fuck let's you. rate this shit. Motherfuckers, this is it. Now it's time to rate this shit. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird when you're doing the podcast and you're like, you know, from what you guys hear, there's no, there's no little thing that comes in. We just have to deal with it. Yeah, <laughs> we just imagine. Okay, so how many um, Mr. Stains out of ten would you give this? Ten being that. Um, who gives a fuck? Just uh, what do you give it, Dan Sullivan? Five. I think it's. I think it's pretty good, but it's also not that good. Also. Bye. Good stuff. Mm -hmm. Naomi. Uh, I'll give it a six. It's, it's, it's. On the shit end of good. On the shit end of good. Shit end of yeah. good. <laughs> yeah. uh, Zav. Uh, every time someone says it's been a while, it, which happens like so much, I'm a always lot. like, it's been a while. <laughs> so I give it a two. Oh, oh, he loved it. Yeah, good. <laughs> he loves it. He fucking loves it. Ah, oh, Bevo. There's nothing like a distorted guitar playing really slow, dirgy shit to make me <laughs> go. <laughs> I loves it. I don't really want to hear this song again, so I'll give it a seven. Oh, yeah, fair enough. Good, good. Chips. Uh, I'll give it an eight. Oof. I think Owie. it's a fucking piece of shit. Fair enough. Fair but enough. did yeah. Naomi rate it? Yeah, I did yeah. it. Yeah. Open your what fucking ears. <laughs> the shit end of good, mate. The shit end of yeah. good. Yeah. Over to Steve. Right. I'm just Steve's like all right, I'll mind. give it an eight. All right. Uh, You're all a bunch all right. of idiots. Thank, thanks for listening. Make sure you follow us and subscribe wherever you get your podcast. Follow us on the social medias. Thank you, Naomi, for stepping Thank in so and much. listening to this piece of shit. <laughs> and uh, Also, shout out thanks. to the Minister of Health. Yes. Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Shout out to the Minister of Health. Thanks to We're Mr. Stain for listening yeah. to the podcast, and we'll see. We're glad the Minister of Health is enjoying the podcast. Minister of Health, uh, you are. and it's helping him um, through the coronavirus. To... Fucking yeah, 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 yeah. sort that out. A ring a ding ding, a ring a ding 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 ding. It's been a while since I did my mate. <laughs> yeah. Alright, ready? Yeah. So sometimes when I'm like having sex, I um I just stab stick my finger in my own butthole. Dick off. <laughs> I'll stab it off. Stab your dick off. Stab <laughs> it till it don't cut it off. Just stab it off. <laughs>
It'd be heaps worse than it fucking getting cut off. Please. It actually it would. And I'd like, just scary just cut it off, please. Cut it off. You're like, nah. No, <laughs> <stabbing>. <laughs> I'm hitting. So- sometimes I hit. Sometimes I miss. Sometimes I.